my feet were wet and I came down my feet slipped out from underneath me because my heel just caught the edge of this of the steps which are kind of narrow now let's look over here at the entertainment center uh, as you can see this is pretty much standard 105 up above there is a console that your widescreen mini TV fits in and above it is the uh, GPS, the Garmin, that you can see from the outside. Also, there is a speaker, the other uh, stereo speaker located up above it. One of the other features I added is lighting for the when we watch movies at night. Lighting, as you can see, it goes all the way around and uh, it's very nice when you're sitting in here watching a movie. At the end of the galley side, you can see that we have the uh, stove and oven. Uh, I put in a ventilation plate here to allow access to this space on the other side which is difficult to reach otherwise. We have a drawer in here, it's a water purity tester and a uh, lighter for the stove. Down below there's a foot pump. I have disconnected the water supply from the foot pump. Uh, uh, it can be reconnected if you uh, desire. The sink arrangement that we have is pretty much designed for cruisers. Uh, we have a dedicated drinking water faucet which uh, comes from a 10 gallon tank that can only be filled with either uh, dockside water or with water from the water maker. Uh, it has a separate filtration system also. We also have a flexible uh, wand for doing uh, dishes. The, uh, this is much more practical than the faucet that came with the boat. It also controls the amount of water that you use because you have to turn the water on with your hand to wash or rinse the dishes. And here we have a soap dispenser for washing your hands. And I wanted to show you something on the other side and I neglected to do it, but on the other side on the chart table and on this side you'll notice there is a screw right here uh, coming off of the shelf and what that screw does is allows you to open this hatch and it locks in the open position. You can do it with one hand very easily. Uh, I've seen all kinds of arrangements for people trying to keep these open. This is by far the simplest. You can also release it easily with one hand. When you open it, it just throws the latch back and catches it. I'm going to open it one more time. To show you inside, we have a dish rack. All right. Of course, your standard drawer on this side, and there's also one located over here on this side. I already showed you that one, never mind. Now, across from the sink, is a shelf where we kept our toaster oven down at the far end and a uh, small trash can right here. Uh, below you'll see it is arranged. Um, this right here is a can rack. It holds sodas. It will hold a 12 pack of sodas and it automatically rolls down as you take one out. Above it are a series of drawers and these allow you to easily access all the stuff that is stored in this space. As you can see there's four of them. They can be taken out very easily and either set up here or across on this counter uh, to get what you need. And down below we have the connection for the bilge, bilge pump on this side and a small shelf that goes back in some distance. Now we're going to go into the master cabin. As you can see, I ventilated all of the compartments uh, with louvers to allow uh, air to flow in and out. We've also installed a full-length mirror across this wall, which makes the room much more spacious. Now in the master bedroom, we've added this feature. We have his and hers reading lights. We have a red night light 
and we have a switch that turns on the deck lights from your from the from the bed so if you hear some noise outside that you're uncertain of what it is you can reach up turn on the deck lights and then look out and see if it's uh, an intruder or somebody who shouldn't be poking around your boat usually that will scare them off because it lights up the whole scene and then we have the typical cabinets found on a 105 there's another one down here there's one over here lots of places to store stuff away moving back to the starboard quarter berth area we did the same thing on this side we have taken the cushions out we don't have them anymore I gave them to a friend of mine who has a west sail um, you can see the water tank below there we go uh, also the uh, strainer for the engine and the through hole for the engine and to my way of thinking it's better to have hard floors you need you might need to access either of these through holes in very short notice and having a mattress on top with stuff piled on top of that is not going to make that task any easier this we've turned into a pantry since we don't use this as a guest room although it certainly could be and we have another st a small storage cabinet down there a drawer on this side and we have hanging pockets all the way up this side that you can fill with all sorts of stuff that's helpful and a uh, container that holds grocery bags stuff them in the top pull them out the bottom as well as a variety of hooks to hang clothes on